Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Arts feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Monday, November the 26th. We start our last week of November, right after Thanksgiving. And I hope you I hope you had a good Thanksgiving holiday and good Thanksgiving holiday weekend and you spent it with the people that you love most of all. And I've got two two good people here with us today. Margaret Tollerton, good to have you here. Missouri Cures. Thank you, Paul. And uh, we're, we're going to meet Elizabeth Freeman in, in just a minute. But uh, you're here to tell us about a world, is it a world event or a national event that's coming up? It's a world event. A world event. It's called the World Stem Cell Summit 2012. Apparently they have these every year and they change the location every year. Um, it used to be, to my knowledge, always held at Washington, D.C. And then they started changing the location. Okay, so this year, and did I say Margaret Tolleton is from, with Missouri, Missouri Cures? You did. Thank, Missouri you. Cures. Thank you. This year the World Stem Cell Convention or summit, summit, summit is being held in Florida. Right. Where? Uh, West Palm Beach. And and what are they going to do? Actually, the whole conference, it's pretty exciting because, because it is a world summit, they call in all these different researchers from around the world, and those researchers then present their research. What so, has been happening and right. what advances have been made. Right. And so if I could just read off a few, this year panels will address advancing treatments for specific diseases and conditions including cancer, diabetes, HIV, AIDS, cardiovascular disease, spinal cord injury, paralysis, multiple sclerosis, ALS, Parkinson's, eye diseases, and others. So they're talking about the whole spectrum right. of diseases that can possibly be helped with finding a cure with stem cell research. Right. Now, there are, and we're not advocating one way or the other uh, on this program, and Margaret works, uh, Margaret is promoting uh, stem cell research, but there are people who are really against this. When you come up to a group or an organization that is negative, how do you approach that? Well, number one, with respect. I think health is personal, and so um, it is a personal decision to make between you and your doctor and you and your family, and I or anyone else am not your doctor and I'm not your family. So I present it that these decisions are personal, and all, each in the clubs and organizations that I give presentations to, I really like to stress knowledge is the important thing, so you know your options. Yeah. And doctors are not gonna push any treatment or cure on anyone who doesn't want that specific, exactly. it's just an option. But the fact is, and I think most people would agree, there are facts that uh, many advances in treatments of diseases have come about because of stem cell research. And you know, that's why I get so excited when these conferences, these summits happen this year, um, I'm hoping to hear great news about the progress that's been made as far as the um, clinical trial trying to cure macular degeneration. So it's, you know, clinical trials have like four stages, mm -hmm. and this is still in stage one. But I read a story uh, several months back that a great deal of progress was made on macular degeneration. That's why I'm so disease. excited. Yeah. You know, I really hope that this, each time I get to go to one of these meetings, I'm so hopeful, um, and hopefully I'll come back on your show in December after I've been to the summit to actually um, um, announce all the great breakthroughs okay. that they've made. If people want more information, the website they can go to is? Um, you know, they should probably just go to the world stem, www.worldstemcellsummit.com. 
dot com. And okay. that has the whole agenda and everything. Okay. All right. Margaret Tollerton, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks. Good Paul. to have you here. And I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. Thank you, I did. Okay, good. Now we turn to Elizabeth Freeman. And Elizabeth Freeman is a is a registered dietitian. Correct. Uh, you're with MU Healthcare, and you're here today to talk about diabetes. And it's somewhat appropriate, the fact it's a Monday after Thanksgiving. We are now officially in the holiday season. This is a time of the year when we're most likely eating more than we normally do the other 12 months of the year, right? Sure, yes. Diabetes is something that we can have and not even realize it. Um, type 2 diabetes, yes. A lot of adults with type 2 diabetes have had diabetes for several okay, years. Okay, what's, what's the difference know. between type, is it type 1 and type 2? Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are the two main types. There's okay, also so gestational. The but So type 1 diabetes is where there's an autoimmune destruction of the cells in your body that make insulin. So your body's just kind of attacking itself and destroying the insulin. And insulin is the hormone that lowers your blood sugar or that controls your blood sugar. Okay. So if you have type, that was type 1. Type 1. If you have type 1, does it make any difference what you eat? Does, is the body still going to have a problem? Yes. Mm -hmm. So no yeah, matter so, what you eat, the body's going to have a problem. So yeah, whether it's type 1 or type 2 diabetes, you need to watch what you eat and eat healthfully. And really, people with diabetes need to eat the same healthy way all of us should be eating. You know, watching our portions, um, eating consistently throughout the day, you know, three meals a day, not skipping meals. Um, a big thing is portion control, but eating heart-healthy foods, fruits, vegetables, whole mm -hmm. grains, dairy. You know, we want people with diabetes to eat a good variety of foods and healthy foods, um, is probably the, the biggest thing. So you, you can have diabetes and not have to, to take insulin, just yes. simply controlling it by your your meal, watching what you eat. And lifestyle, yeah, diet and, and exercise. exercise. Mm -hmm. So with type one diabetes, you know, you need to take insulin, which is, you know, basically the medicine that you give as an injection to lower your blood sugar. Um, but with type two diabetes, some people are able to control their diabetes or blood sugar just with diet and exercise. The only way you can find out if you have diabetes is by having your doctor do a blood test. Mm -hmm. Or can you go and buy one of those little kits yourself and test yourself? I mean, you could, you could, but, um, you know, there are some different things you want to know before you test your blood sugar. I mean, you want to clean your finger off and, because if, for example, if you've just eaten an apple and you test your blood sugar, it could test high because of the sugar from the apple okay, or something. Okay, so you'll clean so, your finger off. Yes. But yes. If, if, if you just want to check yourself, you can do that. You could. And then if mm -hmm. you're high, you need to see your doctor. Yes. Okay. Yes. If people want more information on this, uh, where can they go? The American Diabetes Association has a website, so I would look up the American Diabetes Association. Okay, just go to Google, put in American mm -hmm. Diabetes Association, yes. go to that website, and you'll find all the information yes. that you need. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for coming by. It's a You're pleasure welcome. pleasure meeting you. Registered dietitian and eat well and wisely during the holiday. I don't need to tell you that. Though. Yes, okay. I will. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow, music with Kathy and Dave. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is J.C. Lee. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if you'd like to watch this program or listen to it again, you can sign up for a free podcast or podcast. Go to kbia.org, click on uh, talk shows, and then radio friend. We'll see you tomorrow.